Good afternoon, all you uh, collectors, investors. Um, just want to make a quick video about like the top 10 moving uh, singles from the, the early Scarlet and Violet sets. We're talking about like that first block, uh, you know, from uh, Scarlet and Violet based uh, like Paradox Rift. Um, that's the block right now that's getting uh, restocked, reprinted, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it looks like LGSs are going to be able to start putting in orders for some of those sets um, or already have. Uh, so, um, and I've been watching, you know, just the market. Um, I recently sold all my Paldea Evolved and Obsidian Flames boxes at a, a pretty good, uh, I got a pretty good re uh, return on those. Uh, you know, margins weren't, weren't too, too slim on uh, on that and you know those, those actually moved when i sold the obsidian flames my obsidian flames boxes um i sold them for 115. i had them all listed i said 114.99 dollars 99 um and they sold real quick and that was above market value i think people will sit there and still talk about obsidian flames as if it's a weak set um pull rates are too easy the cards are too easy um i don't know if for me, that's never going to be a complaint to be able to pull cool cards. Um, you know, it's that box. Maybe the sealed products uh, are, are, are going to be affected by that a little bit. But I don't know. It just seems like Obsidian Flames sells out everywhere. People can't get it. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, singles might be affected by that. But you'll see in this video here that I'm making here, there's a lot of Obsidian Flames cards that are moving right now and in, in, in some of them with the biggest gains. So um, with that, we're gonna start with uh, number 10 is Scissor from Obsidian Flames. Uh, and, and Scissor's, uh, uh, nine, it's gone up 9.5% uh, in the last uh, in the last month. Just like, like it's, it it's not, doesn't sound huge, you know, um, but it's, it's up, a, I mean, where's it at here? It's, 9.5, but it's up 48.92% in the last six months. So 48% in the last six months, just in the last month, 9%. So um, this is a, a card that's on the rise. It's a card that's been underrated. It's a card that um, I kind of like just that whole red out, uh, you know, looks like some red dawn war kind of scene or something like that. Um, so this is, for me, uh, um, it was always a must have on uh, for any collector and um Obsidian Flames cards are easy to, it's easy to collect that whole set for about 150 to $200. You could probably grab every card, including every Charizard and everything like that. So, I mean, if you're missing any of those from your set, right now is probably a good time to get them. But some of these cards are moving. They are, it is going to cost you a little bit more to get to complete Obsidian Flames. But yeah, I, I would go and get all those right now. But that's the number 10 scissor. At number 9, we have another Obsidian Flames card. And this is the Nine Tails is up 9.82%. So just a little bit more higher percentage rise in the last month than the last uh, that scissor card. Um, but Nine Tails is up 118% in the last six months. 118%. You could have got this card for like five something like that. Now it's you know up above uh, you know what is it a uh, thirteen dollars or something like that. So you you know this is so underrated one of the best cards illustration rares from uh the scarlet and violet era it's one of the best cards from obsidian flames this is probably my favorite card from the whole set but yeah this one like i said it's in in the, in the month has been up 9.8 percent but for this card to have climbed 118 percent in the last six months is that's pretty good uh and then even the highest one we got we got other cards that have climbed higher than that and the longer range but all right so we are now going to um number eight on the list bulbasaur bulbasaur from uh 151 um this one has climbed up 11.11 percent uh over the last uh month um it's 15 percent over the last three and 90 percent over the last six so just a steady it's steadily climbing you know it's it's showing a little bit of slowing but it's still up 11 percent over the last month um this card was always the least favorite of the three, uh, Squirtle and uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur. Um, but, you know, and it always was sitting just under 20, then sitting around 20. Now it's up a, up a little bit more at like, uh, I think it's, was it like $26 now? So that's pretty good. That's a good jump right there. It's at sitting around $26. And it's, you know, it, it hasn't, it didn't see climbs from the beginning, you know, it kind of stopped and sputtered out, but it, in the last six months, it has been climbing steadily. So 
$26 card now. So at number seven, I am surprised, but it's the Nest Ball. Uh, Nest Ball's up about 13.25% in the last month. And that's where it's all, all of its gains. If you go back like uh, six months, it's dropped a little bit. But just in the last month, it all of a sudden shot up. And I don't know if, I don't play the game. So I'm assuming that the Nest Ball is being used in uh, competitive play. And everyone's putting this in their deck. Uh, so for it to, to climb up, uh, you know, up, I don't know what it's like, around $15 or something like that. 13, 15, $13 to $15, something like that. Um, you know, for uh, a gold card uh, from the Scarlet and Violet base set. Uh, yeah, so up 13.25%. It's very playable. I mean, it, it's, it's you can take a basic Pokemon from your uh, deck and put it on your bench or something like that. Um, so that's, I guess that's why it is. You throw an EX that doesn't need to evolve. So yeah, that is our number seven mover this month in the last month. Uh, number six, we are looking at, where are we at here? Number six is Squirtle. Squirtle is number six, and Squirtle has moved up in the last uh, month 13.5%, so just a little bit more than the Nest Ball. Um, but yeah, the Squirtle, uh, this one here has been steadily climbing for the last, like like for the whole year. I mean, it's up 31% for the whole year, 28% um, in the last six months, 24 in the last three, and 13.5 in the last month. But this card has, I think back in September, has, has hit, earlier September, it's gone over $30 and it hasn't looked back. It hit as high as 34 and it's sitting at 33 right now. So I don't think you'll ever see this card under 30 bucks again. Um, and we got, we've been getting uh, restocks or reprints or whatever you want to call it. Uh, 151 and I'm sure people are pulling this card and it's still it the, the, the prices of 151 cards have not really gone down so uh, as a matter of fact it seems like they're all going up so we got Squirtle here sitting at number six with a 13.5 percent gain uh, the next one another obsidian flames at five we have gloom at 14.46 percent climb in the last month 30 percent in the last uh, three months 86 percent in the last six months and over the year it's almost gone up 100 percent. it's at 97.23 percent it's basically doubled in price and you're you're wondering why like a, a five or six dollar card it's important in that situation well you could have got this card for 250 say that or you could have got a 25 five dollar card one or you can get 10 of these and so when all 10 of these double in price from and your 25 dollar investment is now 50 dollars or whatever it is like that if you want to sell some of it, you don't have to sell the whole thing. So you would have to sell that whole $25 card when it hit 50. But with cards like this, you know, you got 10, 20, 30, you can sell some, you can keep some, you can send some to grading, you can do whatever you want, but you can't cut it up into pieces. But these little cards right here, you get them all at 250, you can, you know, it's, it's not like sealed, um, the market's more volatile, but when you catch those highs, you can make some pretty good money off singles. Like I said, it is a little more volatile. You can also lose all kinds of money, or you can always, you can uh, not see those potential gains if you try to hold out for more and then it just dips, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, here we go. The Gloom, beautiful artwork. It's kind of dark, but it's, it's crazy, super undervalued. Uh, I mean, th this is gonna be an expensive card later on just because it was easy to pull and it's from Obsidian Flames. That's what's been holding it back. But illustration rares are really hot and I don't think they'll ever lose that, but you know, uh, this card right here, I mean, it was so cheap. There was, there's, there's no, nothing to lose on this card. There never was. So the gloom sitting at number five. Um, here we go. Number four is the 151 Charmander. This one, uh, we sent to PSA. I've the only Scarlet and Violet early card that I ever sent to PSA and got a 10 on was a, a promo from the UPC, the, the Mew. It's crazy, a promo, right? It, they're so hard to get PSA 10s on, on on these, so that's why the PSA 10 values for the early Scarlet and Violet sets hold a lot of value. As their populations are a little bit lower, I think it's somewhere around 33% gem rate or something like that, as opposed to some of the other uh, eras at like 50% gem rate and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, this is sitting at number four, um, and this one has seen climbs of 19.29%. Over the last uh, month, 
but over the last six months, it's up 31%. So this card is almost at $40. It's a little over 36 bucks right now. And I, I do see this card hitting 40. It might level off there for a while and then it might see gains. I don't think we're gonna ever see this card dip below $30 again. Um, and it might pass 40 and maybe just keep on going from there because like I said, 151, we're getting restocks or reprints, whatever you want to call it, and it's not affecting the prices really of the singles. So that's that's crazy. That's our number four right there. Number three, again, Obsidian Flames. It's the Pidgeot. Love this card. Uh, again, everyone said it was easy to pull. It was so hyped before uh, Obsidian Flames came out. It was hyped at the very beginning when people were pulling it, and then all of a sudden. There was so many of them in the market, I guess. I don't know, but the Pidgeot here is up 27.49% in the last uh, month and 31.45, so in the last six months. And so, you know, this is sitting over $13. Um, I don't know, everyone loves the Pidgeot line. Um, so I think in a, in a long-term investment-wise, it should be a good one. The long-term collecting-wise, it, it should be good if you want to buy extras of this copy and use them for trade bait later so it's a good idea you know people are going to want this card people are going to remember this card um and obsidian flames i'm telling you it's going to catch fire no pun intended that that set is going to catch fire like when christmas time comes around even this year obsidian flames booster boxes will probably go up ten dollars around christmas time from 115 to 120 or if they're already at 120 by then to 130 they're going to go up ten dollars Every year, sets like that with Charizard full throughout always go up. Base set Charizard is like during that time always goes up. You know, just the old old school base set unlimited Charizard always goes up around Christmas time. I think Surging Sparks is going to do be good because of the Pikachu around Christmas time. People are going to be wanting Surging Sparks. It's, you know, that's Christmas is when people want to see Pikachu, Charmander, they're the big guys. Charizard under their tree, the people that they like, and it's heavily Charizard of Pikachu. So, uh, yeah, so this right here is Pidgeot sitting at number three with a 27.49% gain in the last month. Number two, one of my favorite cards from 151. It's the Dragonair. Dragonair. I got to look at these and see which one's a good PSA 10 candidate. See if I can, can't get a PSA 10. I'm, you know, fingers crossed. Maybe I'll just send both try to get it if, if they both look close enough um but dragonair is sitting at number two this card has been up 28.29 percent in the last month and it's been up 41 percent in the last three months so um this card here is sitting just over 20 dollars. i know it's always been sitting around that 16 17 dollar range i think it might have even dipped as low as 14 um but I, I, I this card was so undervalued i think this card has the potential to be a heavy hitter later on i mean it, it I, I see doing it doing like what tranitar and groudon did uh maybe even more you know it's just just look at the artwork on that thing um it's never been like a cheap card i mean 15 dollars is a it's not expensive but now it's at 20 and i i have a funny feeling it's going to climb up to 30 and i don't again this is another one 151 i don't think it's going to look back 151 you're you're at that point where you need to get those so I'm finishing out my son's 151 binder. Just got the Blastoise. Still need to get the uh, Venusaur, um, a few other ones, but get those big illustration rares and special illustration rares that are all $20 plus. Get those out of the way now. If you're looking to complete your 151 set, just get those out of the way. Um, go to the Japanese, get all the Master Balls that you need out of the way. I just picked up the Pikachu Master Ball. I'm trying to get the Gengar. Got the Gyarados, got all that stuff for my son's binder getting those out of the way because the boxes are climbing the cards are going to start climbing like crazy so master balls it's illustration rare special illustration rare. 151 is just don't sleep on that you don't want to look back and go man i should have bought all that stuff go get your booster bundles that you're going to sit on go get your alakazam boxes all that stuff 151 is something that there's no set like it there's not going to be any sets like it in the future i mean maybe there'll be those nostalgic team rocket sets or they can maybe try to mimic a legendary collection or try to do the uh what is it 152 through whatever gen 2 they're never going to have another 151 they can't do that they can't repeat that um they can make something similar but it'll never be that anyway uh dragon air right here is my number two mover at 28.29 percent in the last 
month. And the number one card, we're over here. I mean, you could see this last card right here is just a regular old looking card, but it's from Obsidian Flames and it's the Pidgey. Crazy movement on this card, crazy. You could have got this card for like three bucks. Uh, you could have got like 20, 30 of them, you know, $100. You could have had a ton of these cards right here. This card in the last month has moved up 40.93% in the last three months, 99.01%. And in the last six months, 137.84%. More than the nine tails in the last six months, 137%. Now it's sitting around an $8 card um, when you could have got it for like two seventy-five, three bucks or whatever like that. Um, this is, I mean, again, another underrated card that was so hyped up at the beginning. It was probably like selling for like 20 bucks and then just dropped like an anchor. And when a card has that much hype and that much love to it, and the only reason it dropped is because there's a lot of them out there. Trust me, there's going to be a lot of people who want this in the future. And so, like I said, you could have grabbed a bunch of these. Even at this point now, you can go grab 10 of them. It'll cost you about 80 bucks. And you just sit on them sit on this card let it grow do a, you know this is another one this one is another nice illustration rare is the number one mover from the first floor sets as you see i had no pelda evolved in here i had no paradox rift in here all those cards had their big movements recently and then now are dropping um pelda evolved and paradox rift but scarlet and violet obsidian flames didn't have those big movements and drops they're now getting their big movements. And uh, 151 has been steady with its climbing here and there. And then occasionally you get a bump up. And so the cards in my list from 151 have the bump ups. This card right here is climbing. <coughs> it's doing, it's moving right now. It's it's a nice card. I mean, like I said, it's that Pidgey line. Uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. The Pid so Pidgeotto is the one that didn't really move much. I expect to see that one moving probably if I do another one of these videos or if someone else does a video of market movers, that Pidgeotto will probably be in that next month or the following or something like that. But this this Pidgey right here, beautiful card, bunch of Pidgeys, um, you know, yellow and green right there. Like I said, this one right here is up 40.93% in the last month, kind of blowing away the rest of the cards on this list. All right, man, go out there, pick up some of these cards if you want. Um, I'm a I'm a sealed product guy. Those are my kids, my my son's cards right there. I'm a sealed guy. I love picking up the sealed stuff. Uh, and like I said, it's the same thing too. Where I go and I grab a bunch of Japanese 151 boxes, or I like the smaller products like the uh, 151 booster bundles, uh, poster collections, things like that. Because when they do do a jump up, I can have five or six of those for the cost of like you know a booster box or something like that. Now I don't have to sell a whole booster box. I could sell two or three if I really need something for taxes or if I'm going on a vacation or something like that. I could sell, I like that, where I can actually sell maybe a couple big products if I want to and some little products and then to get to a point where I got, oh, hey, that's what I needed right there, pay some taxes, whatever. Like, you know, we always got living expenses and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. Anyway, I um, that's gonna be the end of my video. Um, that was my uh, market movers for the, uh, beginning block of scarlet and violet those are the singles that are moving right now go get them if you don't have them go finish those collections if you're missing some cards from them um and that is the end of my video happy tuesday i'll see you on the next one i'm out